Hello guys, as you can see, I've already applied her stocking cap to her hair and we are going to go right into bonding. Um, the first couple steps are pretty tedious because you want to make sure that you are placing the weft on the very bottom and you're pulling it really, really tight so that when you are, um, so that part doesn't lift up and so that it's really flat when you get ready to cut it and it's not sticking up. So right now we're just continue to, um, do the same method up top. Now, once we get to the sides, um, depending on the shape of our head, you kind of got to put a few pieces for the sideburns first, and then you kind of start back at the same pattern. But, um, it's kind of like filling in the puzzle. You just keep going, doing the same thing all the way up. And you're just kind of putting the hair in the way you want it. Now, if you can see where I have the glue, that line of glue, that's that's like my guide to show me where I want her part to be on the side. Um, and so I'm just going to keep bonding and using that same um, technique going up slightly in a slight horseshoe shape um, just so it'll add some depth um, you know to the sides and so when I get ready to cut the sides it'll go to her face a little bit and not just straight down and I do like to double the track sometime um, I kind of like to double every other track so I'll do one track single and then the next track I'll double it We're just going to continue with that until we get up to the part where her part is. And then, um, as you can see, I had it going slanted slightly up. So now I no longer want it that way. So we're kind of, like I said before, just kind of like piecing in the puzzle um, to match up with the part. So that um, when I get ready to do the top part, everything lays right. And we're just continuing on on that same side um, until we get it up to the part. This is one of those styles that's really requested a lot um, because people always ask, can you do this with weave? <laughs> can you do this with weave? So yes, we can. So this was a request from a few of my YouTube subscribers. And so like I said, we're just continuing in on that, on that side, um, right up into where the part is. So now we're doing the long part um, and it's for the top. And it's kind of like, basically like the same technique you use um, when you're doing an invisible part. And as you can see, I'm doing the same thing. I'm like doubling every other weft. And I'm also going in a um, U shape because I want some of the hair to go around. Um, for the back, I'm sorry. Um, so I didn't go straight over to um, the part because I don't want the hair too, too much in her face. So I slanted it down a little bit and then once we get to the side, the very side, and I'll gradually go up and, um, and put it, the tracks going forward. But if you start it um, too soon, It'll be too much hair in their face. But we're just going to repeat with that same um, U shape. And if you have ever done an um, invisible part, you should be able to do this part pretty easy.
and we're just putting the uh, wefts really close. We're putting the wefts really close um, so that when you comb the hair over to the side, the wefts aren't showing. But, and also it gives the hair fullness so to have like a, some volume on the side and it's not just flat. And you wanna put a lot of hair because she's gonna have heavy layers. So if you put the hair in really thin, um, when you cut the layers, the hair is just gonna be super, super thin. And the colors I am using is 99J, um, burgundy, a bright red 27, and I think that's it. And we're just continuing with that U shape. And just make sure you're pressing really, really hard, um, you know, or firm so that the hair stays. So I get a lot of people saying that um, the glue doesn't stick, but if you hold it um, for a little bit, um, it, it'll stay. You don't need to keep spritzing and doing all of that. With this, um, it really just depends where you want your part to be um, or your closure. To me, I think the farther it is back, the more natural the hairstyle look. So if you continue and start doing the front first, that will bring your closure part um, closer to the back. So as you can see, we're almost done. And I'm just kind of randomly um, um, putting in the color because I don't like to, um, I don't like the color to look stripy. So um, that's why I'm not doing like full pieces of color. I'm just kind of, you know, sticking them in so it's like highlights. And we just continue on with that. And you just really just like, it's just like a puzzle. You're just filling it in until you get what you want. And I'm placing a little bit of that red in there. Just keep going. We're still finishing because what we're basically doing is just, you just keep going and until you get the circle smaller and smaller. And then that's where you kind of just fill in with your closure and close it up. And these colors are really, really pretty together. And this brand hair is uh, Sensual Premium Now. Sen I'm sorry, Sensational Premium Now. And she is um, using 10 inch in the top. And this is 28 piece by Janet Collection on the sides. And we're doing the same thing, just um, getting that little circle like smaller and smaller. And if you watched my deep side part bob video, this technique is um, in the top is pretty similar to that. And you can see I'm pressing. Um, I'm not using any spritz, so there's no need to keep spritzing the hair a million times because all of that does is just 
um, dries the client's hair and it just, just causes more itching than quick weaves already do. So I'm going to put one more piece there. Okay, and then another one that way. Then I'm going to start the closure, and then when I get ready to do the closure, I do split the track so that that part is flat. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to put one more. Let me just go around. Um, and like I said, I did split the track so that that last piece is really flat because you're going to, after you do the circle, I know you can't really see. Um, but after we finish that piece, then we're going to kind of flip that last part over. But if you have everything really close together, you shouldn't be able to see um, the weft. She is done. So we're going to start with the cutting um, the 28 pieces on the side. I do like to start off using clippers. And then after that, um, I kind of just use the clippers to take off the bulk of the hair. And then I kind of clean it up with the razor. I personally like to leave the um, back and sides like really wispy, but um, a lot of my clients always tell me to cut it off. It looks pretty, but they don't like the way that it looks because um, it starts slipping up. But I don't. I think it still looks nice, but it's just personal preference. So we're going to continue on with that. And um, just kind of cutting it. And I'm using a razor comb from Tinkle. I'm just kind of getting that part really, really flat. And, you know, when you're cutting weaves, you sometimes need multiple tools. Like, I'll use clippers, um, razor, and shears in one, one um, to cut one style. I'm just going back and checking it, make sure the back is really, really low and flat. And if you're using the part with the longer teeth, it's pretty hard to overcut. So now we're just going to do our outline. I guess you can kind of call this like a half bob. And so we're cutting the layers. And like I say, this is what's important to make sure that you're, you put the hair in really full because you are taking a lot of hair off. So you don't want the hair to be really thin. You still want it to be full after you cut it. And then we're going back and making the layers a little bit more deeper.
just going with that same guy, cutting more layers. This flat iron, um, I actually found this flat iron on Black Friday from Sally's, and it's become one of my favorites for a weave. And so we're just gonna go ahead and start curling. When you're curling the front, you're kind of bringing the hair and you're going back. And I'm not really curling it really deep because I don't want like the old school uh, feather, feather look. Just slightly bumping it. Just so the layers are um, defined. And look, you can see those colors, they look pretty already. She is loving it, hey! So we are almost finished curling or bumping, flat ironing, whatever the term is you use. This is lit. And if you guys don't have me on Instagram already, you can follow me on Instagram at the Master Stylist. I do offer um, digital classes where you can do classes via Skype. Go to my website, themasterstylist.com. All of that information will be there. Pricing, everything. Once you pay, someone to email you with um, a time that's available. And all of the digital classes are done on Mondays. And she is ready to go, honey. Get into it. So do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.